new drama regarding Upotsane because of course there is going to be drama and we're also going to talk about Kele Pimenyimana and I'm going to respond to some of the comments that I saw. Well, a comment that I actually saw on Friday and I was going to talk about it yesterday but I didn't get time to talk about it. Anyways, hello and welcome to Kosi Nation Fan TV. I am Pilo, I am your host and this is where fans meet and talk about KZ Chiefs. Ah, ma Kosi! Football club. That was weird. Anyways, Royal AM are not happy with how KZ Chiefs signed Upotsan. What is the story? The story goes back to those things. Once again, teams having an option to extend the contract of a player by a further year. So it turns out this was the case again with Upotsane. Royal AM had an option to extend the contract here by a further year. But guess what? They didn't. They didn't extend the contract by a further year. So why are they not happy? Because it would be something different if they had triggered that option to extend the contract. Then we would say, oh, it chiefs they signed someone's player. But no, it's not the case. It's actually legit because e contract hadn't been triggered or been extended. So the Nero LAM, this thing that they are trying to make, an issue out of a tissue, <laughs> that's a good one. But now, it, 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 it shouldn't be a big deal. I don't think this is one of those things that KZ Chiefs can worry about. Because I feel like it's easy. Uguti, Irwale M, they are saying now, Irwale M are going to take each Chiefs to DC Comet. You remember last year, it was the same thing with the Solomons. Uh, this season, we had the same issue with Uranga. And the Nance, H and Gamoti, they are wanting to sue Moti now. Guys, I cannot wait for the season to start and most importantly for the transfer window to be closed because I am tired of this. I am so tired. Like, there is always just drama and drama and it's unnecessary. Some of these things are unnecessary because Abo Royal AM, they are dealing with issues with UFIFA right now because they didn't pay Nukovic's salary. The year before that, they had other issues. Now they want other issues with the Chiefs. I... Because it, it, it's like each Chiefs, it, this is not their fault, by the way. Don't get me wrong. It doesn't seem like this is Chiefs' fault. But this thing, because they wouldn't have sold us Upotsane otherwise. Because I found out, I thought I thought Upotsane was, was signed from Royal AM. But he wasn't actually signed from Royal AM. He was picked up as a free agent, which I didn't even know. Because for me, I thought, huh? That's interesting. Uguti Chiefs have just signed Upotsane from Royal AM. I think I even said this in one of the videos. Uguti Chiefs have signed Upotsane from Royal AM, which is not the case. Which makes sense why Chiefs signed Upotsane once again. Because, dun, 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 he was a free agent. Which basically means two of our wingers have been signed as a free agents. By the way, Ning Chalikma comments, I want to make a video. Futa will make a video. I've even scripted it here. Uguti to talk about ranking the signings of UK's achieved so far. But let's leave that and let's see what the DC committee says about the signing of Uponsani. By the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, please do make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as it helps me to reach more people like you and it also just helps us to grow this community. The target before the season starts, by the way, is to at least be at 15,000 subscribers. And right now we're 13,300 and something. So we can get to 14,000 by next week. We can get to 15,000 before the season starts. Come on, guys. We can do it. Also share the content. Special shout out today goes to Unjabulo Dada. Unjabulo, I actually know him personally. So shout out to you, Unjabulo. Today's special shout out goes to you. And every one of you. You can become a member of this channel also. It's simple. You just click the link on the description or on the first comment on the comment section. It's pinned. It's only 20 rand per month. You get member shout out. You get a special, you, you get a, a pro priority reply to your comments. And when we finally have uh, fans or we have other people in the show, members will be prioritized because, well, they are also contributing to the growth of this channel so thanks to everyone who subscribed and who's commenting now let's talk about chiefs and in the baga caleb caleb has left the chiefs right and i mean that not even according to it is key times there is so it is key times are saying that oh the first story by the way was reported by unplayable by the way whenever i report a story 
I say where I took it from because I don't come up with the stuff. I read these articles and then I bring these things to you to discuss them with you. I just gave you where I got this thing from. So why are you saying I'm lying? Guys, come on. Anyways, according to Disky Times, Ikeza Chiefs were talking to with that as I talked about it in the video yesterday. So what happened is that they agreed on the fee. And the moment they agreed on the fee, Okeleb left on Friday on the first flight to Casablanca. He's in Morocco right now. So we can kind of sort of say Okeleb is no longer Ikeza Chiefs player, which is good for him. And a lot of people made their thoughts known. Uguti, some of them, some people don't want Caleb to leave. They thought he was a good player. Besides him being tall and not being able to use his head and all the misses that he had, it's fine, it's fine. But he played with an injury, so we'll just say, We see it differently. The beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I guess the skill of a footballer is also in the eye of the beholder, I guess. Anyways, Caleb is gone. But also, it looks like the other target that KZ Chiefs could replace Caleb with which could have been Ufistun Maele, seems like he's also close to getting a new team as well. So in the Bay Kiza Chiefs and getting a new striker, I am not saying we need a new striker, you know. If we don't get Ufistun Maele, I mean, I, I will tell you now, I say something in Tuba, guys. I do. I really, really do. I think Tuba can do each Chiefs a lot of good. I really, really do. I think... Caleb leaving in case the Chiefs should not be cause for concern. Because, le let's look at it this way. If we're playing against normal teams, right? Like, <laughs> normal teams, what am I even saying? Like the other teams that kind of respect the Chiefs. They are going to sit deep. And then Uranga has that physicality in the box to finish off the chances that the team will be... Uh, what's this thing? The, the chances that will be creating. But, if we have a problem, then Yoguti... Uguranga cannot do something. Then we can always bring on Utuba as his replacement. Obviously, then there's a question, Yoguti, what if Uranga gets injured and then Utuba is a starter? Who replaces him then? People will say, oh, but Ukona and Utu, pre Ukona Usail. I will say this again, and I've been saying this a lot of times. Ranga and Tupri, look at those two players. They are completely different players. Uranga, no I mean, Usail and not Tupri, they are actually similar players. In a way, because they are both quick, they are both dribblers. They are not the kind of people who hold up the ball for the people to come, which is exactly what Uranga will be doing. They are not the kind of people who stand in the box and wait to finish off the chances. That's how they are different from Uranga. So Utuba is still a striker who is mobile within the box, and I think he can do enough of work when we're playing against Lama teams like they are going to sit deep and defend against Kiza Chiefs. Now, teams have become more bold or bolder against the KZ Chiefs these days and they play a high line. That will depend once again on how we start the season. In which case, then we can play Usaile or Dupri through the middle. Why? Because they have a pace and they can exploit those spaces behind my defenders. That's how Dupri played. Igustel and Po. She was drifting a bit wide and then was making diagonal runs into spaces behind the mat defenders and was scoring goals. So for me, I'm not as worried about the striker position as much as I am with the defensive midfield position. Although on Twitter, I tweeted something re talking about this worry army about um, uh, the, the, the lack of a defensive midfielder. And Farouk Khan, yes, the, the one and only Farouk Khan, responded to my tweet and said, U Castillo is actually a good defensive midfielder. But then to me, I was like, but I've seen U Castillo, even good transfer market, he's listed as a central attack, as, as a central midfielder. And he, 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 on some of the clips, it looks like he advances more to go forward. But then that happens. Look at the players like Abo Rodri, Guimen City, they are scoring goals and they are going forward. But once again, there are a lot of tweaks and, and different applications that Man City does to make sure Guti, you don't break against them. But good case achieves, we need a traditional defensive midfielder because we've been getting a lot of, we've been getting exposed a lot. And that is why I get worried about having someone who plays as a defensive midfielder but likes to venture forward. Because what ends up happening 
is that some smart teams identify that and they can always hit you on a counter because they see what you are bringing all your players forward. But Igegefu Farouk Khan, who knows better than me, obviously, thinks Uku Castillo will be a good defensive midfield uh, midfielder for EK's Chiefs. Then I'm going to say, okay, let me let him say that. And we'll see Uku, if the Chiefs ends up not signing a proper out-and-out defensive midfielder. Will they use Uku Castillo and how will he do? And also, even if he's there, he's still the only defensive midfielder. I think we need two options because... If Castillo, since he's new in to South African in South African football, if it doesn't do well, then you need alternatives. Someone who's gonna come in and take this that position from him. I cannot risk it on Usteb as much as I like I like the player, but he's not a natural defensive midfielder. He's more of a central midfielder and attacking midfielder. So that is why I'm gonna say once again, I think with the case achieves right now, that's a signing that I'm more concerned with. But we can always, if Ukelep is, since Ukelep is going, we can always go out and find another striker because who's going to be more like Ranga? Because if Ranga gets injured, then Utu, but it doesn't work out for him. Then teams are sitting deep, which means we cannot use Utu pre Osail as a number nine. Then we're definitely going to need someone who's exactly like <laughs> who's exactly like Ranga because then we're going to need a, what, what do they call it? Mm, uh, a, 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 a target man. That's the word I'm looking for. Going to need a target man. Now, I also wanted to talk about something that's not a big deal, but it's kind of a thing. Uh, by the way, I don't know. I forgot. I've been talking a lot. Did I say please subscribe to the channel and like the video? I think I did. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video. And also, please do make sure to become a member. Today's member shout-out goes to Jabulo Lala. Am I saying this for the second time? This will be weird, and I will not even edit it out if I'm saying it for the second time. Uh, <laughs> anyways, special shout-out goes to Jabulo. If you want to be a member, click on the link below to be a member. It's only 20 rands per month. You get a sticker next to your name when you comment. That means you get priority reply to your comments as well, and you get member shoutouts. And when you finally have the show with other fans, priority will be given to members of the show. Hey, I feel like I'm saying this for the second time. Anyways, on Friday, Utlubi Sonjita, yeah, it's Utlubi Sonjita, yeah. He commented about Ranga and Modi Uguti, they chose the Chiefs, and the fact that players, if they want to come to Chiefs, they will come to Chiefs. I, I, I. I kind of agree, Uguti, we should want players who want to play for the Chiefs to come to the Chiefs and not force the players who don't want to come to the Chiefs to come to the Chiefs. But I will also mention, Uguti, players, this is their job. Playing football, it's their job. I saw William back in the 2010s posing Natchez at Tottenham and then a few hours later was announced as a Chelsea player. We've seen players kissing Ama Page, Amati Monk, which shows Uguti Abadala Bana loyalty to our teams. Yes, Kuko Nuguti Mebo Moti, they grow up supporting the Chiefs and they love the Chiefs and they wanna play for the Chiefs. But I'll be honest with you, I don't think if the Chiefs went to Mendieta and signed him, he would have said no. I don't think that's the truth. I think ultimately also it just comes down not only that, it also it's also important, Uguti, how is the team doing and how is the team approaching you as a player because some players look at a team like united a player like ukori kakpo was going to manchester united but uklop called ukori kakpo personally and pitched the the project to liverpool to him guess what happens ukakpo had been linked with united the entire transfer window last this january ended up going to liverpool you have Uta and nunes it was the same thing with united united were not decisive Liverpool went and decisively convinced the player. We have all these stories of managers calling players and pitching the idea and promising what you are going to play in the team. Because if you take Upule Modi, yes, as I've already said, he might just like it Chiefs. If you look at the Pirates, there are a lot of options in the position Gamot. And this third is not going to want to go to Pirates and sit on the bench. I like the fact that he would want to come to Chiefs in a team where he is likely to play 
because that means he's not one of those players who, sh- who will just want to come to a team and sit on the bench. That's credit to him, which he doesn't want to just go and eat the money, just want eat, but he wants to go and contribute to a team. So I'm not entirely dismissing Uguti. They like it, Chiefs, but I'm just saying Uguti, sometimes about Lali, they are not entirely loyal as we are to our teams because these players tomorrow they will leave the team and forget about it. Look at Erasmus. He was score he was playing for Sundowns and then he left the Sundowns like a week later he scores against the Sundowns and he goes to celebrate in front of the Sundowns fans. Then once again he comes out Guma at okay there was there was Uchan but Uchali we were talking about the support of the Pirates fans of the of the Sundowns fans. But what I'm saying is Abalandeli are but different from football players. We are loyal to our teams through and through, but f- footballers are not necessarily like that. I am saying this because of the fact that when these players finally leave the Chiefs, we end up blaming them and saying, oh, these players, he, they just came for each, to the Chiefs for money. No, they came to the Chiefs when Chiefs could still pay them, and when Chiefs was no longer interested in paying them, they left. Case in point, to George Malulek. And then we end up blaming these people as if they're not doing their job. And no, this is not a, 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 an attack on you and a club. It's just a thing that made me think, Uguti, it's one of the things that, that has been in my head because I'm seeing with Mason Mount leaving in Chelsea and going to United. Uguti, a lot of people have been calling him a traitor and Uguti, he, he betrayed Chelsea. But Chelsea were given an opportunity to extend the contract to Mason Mount but they were not budging on increasing his salary. For a player who's been contributing to them so much, they were not budging. It's the same thing with Uplomu. Some people ended up blaming the agent, blaming Uplomu. No, this, 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 and this. At the end of the day, players, they are professionals, and they will go to a team that's going to pay them. And if a team presents a better project and a better opportunity to let you as a player shine, then I'm definitely going to choose the team over the other team that just wants me to come and be a team member. But I want to go there and actually do something, have an impact on the team. What do you think about everything that I've said? I am so tired. Let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and until next time. Remember, equals. I'll pay you more.